Well, hey, G Holla, G dot Holla. Girl, G E Holla. Show me the God here, man. Salute to you. Okay. Shout out to G Holla, reaching 1 million listeners on his podcast. Hey, a shout out to G Holla. All oh, y'all said in Taylor, shout out my guy, G Holla, of my celebrity life podcast. Red man in the fucking building, bitch. That's right. Get it right. And uh, shouts out to that boy, G Holla. G Hall, what you know about it, nigga? Find that um, mixture, you have to have, you have to be searching for it. That's right. And Whereas speaking of that, we before, got Tony Sunshine who has called in. I didn't mean to cut you off. We're going to get into a little light, a little sunshine for the ladies. Look, What's Tony going sunshine. on, brother? To the show. What's up with you? How you been? I'm good, man. I'm blessed. And you? Oh, I'm, I'm good. Absolutely cool. Oh, my name is uh, G. Holler, and I have my co-host on the line with me, um, L. Ann Stevenson. Introduce yourself, Hi. please. Hi, I'm Life Stevenson. I am also editor of Monologue Magazine. So glad to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Okay, cool, so, cool. Uh, Where are you? Go ahead. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? We can. We can hear you. Oh, okay, cool. Go ahead, life, a ladies first, beauty before age. Well, well, I, I don't mean to jump the gun or anything like that, but your new song, Danger, which was okay. directed by uh, the infamous Amadeus. Okay. You are collaborating with Chris Rivers. Yes. That is fun my- of big fun, right? Yeah, that's my young boy. That's uh, that's 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 fun, son. And um, wow. Yeah. So yeah. what I want, what I want to know is, like, did you bring him into the game? Are you did I bring showing him into the game? No, yeah. no, no. I'm not hands on 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 in in his career, you know. But mm-hmm. I'm definitely rooting for him. This is something that you know he wanted to do on his own and. And he's been putting in his own leg work and his own his own um time, you know, so I'm rooting for him. I'm rooting for him. Got you. Now you've been doing this for a very long time and we know that you have done work as a uh some voice acting work. Can you tell me some a little bit acting. about that? Yeah. Voice acting work? Mm, no, I think that, that that's wrong information. Okay, I heard that you were doing some work as a voice actor. Was just just asking no, to I'm, make I'm, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm most I'm most I'm most definitely open to that. You know, oh, but um, at at this moment, at this present moment, I wouldn't be able to to give you any type of information on voice acting because I haven't done any. Gotcha. I think so where where did you get that information? Where 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 did you get that information from? Somebody who does the radio had told me that you had done some voiceover work, and I was like, wow, that's random. You know, that's still a check. Never knew. Yeah, of course. That's, that's most definitely a check. I've done a lot of different things in my career, but voice acting is definitely not one of them. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we know that you've worked with Angie Martinez, Fat Joe, yep. he did me. Can you just give me a little bit about the history and coming up and how exciting it had to be to be a part of that movement at that time, which we would consider the golden era of hip hop? I mean, could you imagine young boy coming from, 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 from the bottom, you know, everybody likes to say the hood and uh, just, 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 just being allowed to be in that circle was amazing. Just being allowed to be in a room with someone like 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 Diddy or or someone like Angie and Puff and, and you know major thing yeah. for 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 a kid coming up. Absolutely. So that's when you decided you wanted to sing instead of rap because everybody's rapping. How'd you <laughs> get into that lane? You know. Well. Well, I've always been a singer. I've always been an R and B singer. You know, rap the rap thing I do I do for fun and, and, and it's not something that I take serious. You know, they say I do it better than than, than most, but I think that, that my best abilities and my qualities are when I sing, so that's what I do most of the time. No doubt. 
I just want to say you dope, man. I've been listening to you for so, so the longest time. <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I'm a, I'm a lyricist. You know, I know everybody's entitled right. to be different. It's cool. It's cool. You can like the, bite, the beat. But I love how you, you dance over the tracks with your lyrics. I think that's just crazy. Dope. Thank you, my and brother. And a lot of people think that anytime, I salute you, King. A lot of people think that rapping is, is, is easy. Maybe for, like, you because you have that talent. But to actually put it right. together and make it flow like how you do it and tell a story with it, right. I think that's just absolutely dope. That's well, like it's, all about, it, 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 it's all about making sense. As long as you make sense and make people want to listen, then you're doing your job. You know, then you have the other side of it. Then you have people that don't listen to 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 lyrics and, don't, and all they care about is the melody. And and I think that that's what's going on today with today's music. It's all about melody. It's not about content. It's not about lyrics anymore. It's not about the story behind the music. It's it's just about what the melody is and how we could turn up to it. You know what I mean? So that's just my view. So what no, is your project not. that you're working on now? What's the name of that? The new record we have out right now is entitled Close. It's uh is is a remake of um Maxi Priest record Close to You. And oh. it, I think it's a very very big record. Not because I recorded it or, or, or because this was happening right now, it's just that I think I think restoring that feeling in dance music is important. You know what I mean? We have a lot of dope dance rec we have we have a lot of dope dance records out there right now and I'm not taking anything away from all of the dope artists out there that have amazing music out, shout out to them. You know, but we need to restore that real dance music. Like 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 back then Maxi Priest was singing real Lyrics, real music to 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 these dance hall, reggae, um, calypso, you know these type these type records were really real records, you know. So Got you. I, I, you know, a little bit of auto tune here and there, but for the for the most part, everything is real real vocals, clean vocals, and 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 you know I'll be able to perform this record live and sound. And give it the same feeling I did in the booth. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. Absolutely. To you Absolutely. I do. I do have a quick question. Was wondering if you were going to throw in some reggae tone for the Hispanic um, listeners on your music. Um. Um. I think that somewhere along the line, I will record. Some Spanish music. I don't know if it will be reggaeton. Like, um, I'm a supporter of my people, and and mo- and most definitely reggaeton has been has made a major impact worldwide, and, and I'm proud of what they've done. But it's something that I've um, tried to stay away from for 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 a long, long time, due oh. to the fact that. Due to the fact that you know, and, and like I said, I'm very proud of what they're doing, and I've done records with some of the with, with, with some of the, the great reggaeton artists. But for me to sit after fighting so long to be a credible Latino R&B singer, you know, not just a Latino R&B singer, but a R&B singer 